All right, guys, it is day two. We're back out here. Let me make sure the audio is good. Yeah. All right, so it's day two. Actually, it's three days, two days later, right? We're coming back out here. We're gonna try to get some of those smaller morels that we left behind. Even the other day, we were picking the smaller ones because we weren't sure we were gonna come back. And even picking the small ones, it's not a big deal, guys. Don't worry about it. Remember, the mushroom is actually underground. It's a big network of mycelium. It's like a big spider web underground. Picking the smaller fruits, no big deal. They'll come back the next year. It's not advisable, really, to pick the fruits without cutting them. Sorry for the brightness, let me fix that. All right, that, I hope that's a little better. The sun just came out. So today, hopefully we'll find some more mushrooms. We brought some steak with us. We might do a little clean and cook at the end. We forgot our pan though, so we might cook on a rock or something, but we'll make it work. All right, let's get looking for some mushrooms. Also, big thanks to two brand new Major Credit Patreon supporters, uh, Nebo Gold Adventures. John, thanks a lot, man, I really appreciate it. John has a pay dirt company. If you guys are interested, I'll leave a link in the description to his business. Also, Detectorist.com. Thanks a lot, Detectorist.com. I really appreciate it. There's a link to Detectorist.com in the description as well. So yeah, if anybody's interested in becoming a Patreon supporter, there's always a link at the end and in the description and everything. But yeah, you get some perks over there. You get to watch videos nice and early and you get to see your name in the credits at the end of the videos and everything. So yeah, thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate it. We have some ferns up here in the fiddlehead stage, but these are not the ostrich ferns that are edible. The ostrich fern looks similar to this, but they don't have these black hairs on it. And the ostrich fern is a little bit thicker. I mean, these may be edible, but I wouldn't try it. Definitely a good photo opportunity. There's a bunch of them here. there all right so two days ago we walked right by this spot and this did not exist so this is two days worth of growth if anybody's wondering in this elevation in this area what are we about 9,000 feet up here between 8,500 and 9,000 feet it's different everywhere in the country it's different times of the year in different places of the country um, there, there's so many different variables it's just um, impossible to say everything. Basically, the best way to find morels is to go out and try yourself. Just explore your own region. Explore your own region, do some research on Google. So we wanna keep looking around in this area. There's nine times out of 10, there's another morel somewhere. I was up there walking this way up the hill and Ross is down here, I found one. <laughs> and this is guaranteed only two days of growth up here. Uh, Ross did look at this area and these were not here. There's three of them. This one here, and there's one right there. Yeah, go ahead and cut it. Wow. That is a nice one. There's even a little bug living in it. More protein. Yeah, these are, you can tell the freshness on these. I like to cut them as far down on the base as possible, because even the stem tastes delicious. There you go. Nice. Oh, just popped off. Nice. Yeah, that wasn't here two days ago either. Here's those morels that we left here the first time. They're actually not any bigger. They look about the same. There's that one there. And there's that one. Yeah, they're like a small amount bigger. I'm still going to leave them here. I might come back in a, a day or two see if they grow at all but yeah it's weird they, they didn't get any bigger you'd think they would this mushroom here these little orange cups they're called a blue stained cup the outside of them are like blue stained well we got we got some thunder happening anyway these mushrooms are all over the place these are a good indicator of the morels the other day when we were out here we were finding morels everywhere that we saw these things right over here Cut too deep on that one, I got all the dirt. Cool. 
we're gonna get rained on. <laughs> we are totally gonna get dumped on, I know it. Well, Ross and I are kind of just walking and talking about, oh, there's another one right here, a big one. Oh, jeez. There's one right there. I walked right by this patch. Best of luck, and we're not paying attention. Oh, look, there's another one. Yeah, we found a little patch right here, just as we were talking about it. You want to cut this one too? That's a decent sign, yeah. I just walked right by him, man. <laughs> yeah, that is a nice, nice one. one. That's some good weight to it. Where's that other one? Is it nice big enough to pick? We just leave that one there. Cool. All right, so, yeah. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the sky is really, you know what? Let me get over here where you can actually see it. So it's kind of hard to see, but we're here in Thunder, and so we decided to set up a, just a poncho. If it rains, we get to sit on this log here and camp out just for a minute, but. Something to duck under. We found a mushroom here, right next to our campsite. Nice morel right there. There's another little patch right up above. There's another little patch right up above. They're small though, we're gonna leave them. Yeah, I'll cut this one. It's a nice one too. Yeah. It's very photogenic. Nice. A little bit of hail. Yeah, as soon as we took the shelter down, of course. It starts hailing. It started, it just got really, really cold all of a sudden. And yeah, better put this on. All right, so after maybe a two mile hike up and down the mountain here, searching for morels, we probably found about two pounds. We'll, we'll uh, lay everything out over at Ross's house. But it's raining out here, you know, in the army we would say, if, you, if it ain't raining, you ain't training. But it still sucks. So let's go to uh, Ross's house and cook this stuff up. All right, this is much better, a lot more dry. Uh, let me show you the morels that we got for today. So we got, I don't know, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, I don't know, 30 mushrooms or so. Uh, they're a lot bigger than the ones that we found the last time. We still pick some of the smaller ones, but the majority here are much bigger. Man, this smells really good. These are little filet mignons. We're pretty much just gonna cook it in butter at a million degrees, about three minutes on each side. We're gonna flip them, and then uh, we're gonna put those in some aluminum foil. Then we're gonna add the morels to that butter and meat sauce right there. Cook those up, and man, it's gonna be good. Yeah, Outdoors Inspired, he does this kind of stuff all the time on his channel. He does a lot of outdoor cooking as well, like right out there on the campsite. That was the plan for today, but we got we got rained out, huh? We got hailed out. We got hailed out, yeah. It, yeah, I'm soaking wet right now. I don't have a change of clothes. Oh, that looks good. Oh, man, that looks good. They don't need very long. Uh... They don't, yeah, it's less than three minutes per side. That's about a minute and a half per side. That'd be nice and medium rare in the middle. Oh, be good. oh yeah. All right, next we are caramelizing some onions here. These are, what are they, sweet onions? The Vidalia, sweet Vidalia onions. Yep. Yeah, these are also a seasonal onion there. So we're gonna put some onions in there. Uh, we have a whole bunch. I mean, we got a lot of morels, man. That's like a half of a week. Uh, that's a little bit more because there's also two pounds. That's like that's like three pounds, four pounds of morels or the. We also have our steaks here. We're just putting them in some aluminum foil, letting them rest for about 20 minutes or something like that. You know, I should have a little bit of oil in there. Just... All right, guys. Well, that's the finished product. From the forest to the plate, some morels, some onions, and uh... Filet mignon. There you go. <laughs> we earned earn that meal. We definitely earned that meal. So I'm finishing up my meal here. This was really, really good. Like, 
It's very rare that you laugh when you're eating because it tastes so good. This is one of those meals. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys check out Outdoors Inspired's version of this video. I'll leave a link in the description, like I said before, to his channel. If anybody has never went out looking for morel mushrooms, I highly recommend it. They're so good. Even if even if you don't like mushrooms, they really don't have like a mushroomy taste. They have like a subtle taste of mushrooms, but you have to taste them to know, understand what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, that's all I got for today. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. If you have any suggestions about other things to go looking for out in the woods or what your favorite wild food is in your state, uh, let me know in the comments. I'm thinking about doing some fishing videos, maybe even some hunting videos. Let me know what you think about that in the comments as well. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that. I put out a new video every three days. That's all I got for today. Thanks for watching.